friends, Kerrigan Skelly here with Pinpoint Evangelism, the Refuting Calvinism YouTube channel. Back with you here today, start of the new year, early, well, middle of January 2018, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, and um, one of my goals for this coming year in the Lord is to be more consistent about doing these videos. I hope to do about two a month, so appreciate your patience with me regarding that. And uh, hopefully these videos come out will be a blessing to you. Well, today's video is, as you can see by the title, is Calvinism's Dictionary or Calvinist Dictionary. And, uh, you know, one of my series I've done over the years has been this series called Calvinist Confusion. And the premise of that series is the fact that Calvinists love to take biblical words and redefine them and then, you know, uh, formulate a theological construct from that, from those words. And if you submit to their definitions of these biblical words, um, logically speaking, consistently speaking, you should become a Calvinist. But obviously, I don't believe they're defining words properly. I don't believe they're defining words according to the Greek de definitions, according to how it's used in context, or according to how the Bible uses it, period. And so today we have the Calvinism Dictionary, or the Calvinist Dictionary. And I'm going to give you a bunch of biblical words, terminology, and then I'll give you the Calvinist definition of them. I'm not going to be spending time refuting their definition of them, so I guess it's kind of like a, a fun video to some, some, uh, some degree. Uh, but I, nonetheless, I hope it's uh, edifying to you. So, so here we go. All and world mean the elect. Whosoever means those God picked to be on his team. Calvinism means the gospel. TULIP is the greatest acronym of all time. Call, effectual, is to be irresistibly dragged. Call, general, is God's justification to condemn the reprobate. Regeneration is to be born again before repentance and faith. Compatibilism is lukewarm and logically inconsistent Calvinism, something Calvin himself rebuked. Faith, one, is something that the elect are zapped with after regeneration. Two, a work that gives pride to non-Calvinist. Repentance, one, sinning less, just a little, after being regenerated. Two, a gift forced upon you, not something for you to do. Deceiving yourself means thinking you can go a whole day without sinning. Holiness is sinning every day, but God is either okay with it or is blind to it. Righteousness is someone else's good conduct transferred to you. Sin, one is a hereditary disease passed on to us via something our great, 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 great grandparents did in a garden thousands of years ago. Two, is something that was freely done by your great, 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 great grandparents that you are born with and can't help but to do. Three, a force that can never be overcome in this life, even with the power of God on your side. The resurrection is when God zaps you so that you never sin again, even though you sinned every day until the day you died. Dead means you can't do anything except sin. Depart from or fall away from the faith means you are never in it to begin with. If isn't conditional. Beware isn't a real warning to genuine believers. Name blotted out means it was never written in the book to begin with. Branch cut off the vine 
means it was never part of the vine in the first place. Escape the pollutions of this world is referring to those who were never truly saved. A faith becoming shipwrecked is referring to a fake faith. Salvation is being justified while continuing to do the things which condemned you in the first place. Sanctification is getting a little less every day after becoming a Christian. Not too much though, otherwise you are deceiving yourself. Discernment is reading all the Calvinist books you possibly can, listening to and watching all the Calvinist sermons you possibly can, going to a Calvinist church and possibly even going to a Calvinist seminary to make sure you read the Bible properly. Sovereignty is God controlling everyone and everything like a robot or a puppet on strings, but not being responsible for any of it. Eternal hell is the place people go to be punished for something that was unavoidable and they had no power to change. Justice is being accountable for someone else's crimes, someone you've never met. Work salvation is anything that doesn't agree with Calvinism's tulip. Free will is of the devil. Babies are monsters of depravity who if they could and had the strength to, would kill their parents while they sleep. Or at least steal their watch off their arm and beat them over their head with their arm. Consistent Calvinism, which is Calvinism taken to its logical conclusions, is hyper-Calvinism. John Calvin, a man with no theological training and who put to death those who disagree with him, is the greatest theologian ever. Misrepresenting Calvinism, also known as, you obviously don't understand Calvinism, is anything that makes Calvinism look bad or biblically refutes it. Exegesis, the eisegesis that Calvinists love to engage in. Hermeneutics, is any principle of interpretation that leads to the Calvinistic interpretation of the scriptures. Context, is a magical word that Calvinists love to use to read Calvinism into a passage. A Pelagian, also known as semi-Pelagian, and sometimes synonymous with heretic, is anyone who is doing a really good job refuting Calvinism, and you don't want anyone to pay attention to him, so he uses magical word to make people stay away from him. Survey this. La 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 la. I'm not listening because it's irrelevant. Secret will of God. It's something that God has revealed to only Calvinists to help them prove Calvinism. So there you have it, friends. Short video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it. I've been thinking about this for a long time. And uh, this is just, this might just be part one. I might have a part two as I think of more things that belong in the Calvinism, the Calvinist dictionary. So hopefully you uh, got a laugh out of this. Hopefully... Uh, the laughter was knowing it's true, but uh, seeing it all in this form, being comical to you in some way, uh, it's good to laugh. Laughter is good medicine. Uh, but it also, there's also some truth to these things. I mean, there's obviously, I believe there's truth to all of them. I mean, this is how the Calvinists define these words. But um, I always think it's a, it's a poor way of defining these words, every single one of them. It's sad that people will allow themselves to be deceived in this way, to redefine these words in this way, and then uh, formulate a theological system based upon these definitions. And hopefully you'll see the foolishness. If you see them all together here in one, in one video, these ones that I have here, you'll see how foolishness it is to take these kind of positions on these words. when it's obvious that it's not the way it's meant to be. God bless you.